Hello friends! This past weekend, I took a little trip with my friend Haley of Haley Marie Vintage, who invited me to stay with her in a castle here in Washington called Thornwood Castle. I wanted to take you on a little tour, just walk through the castle, and talk a little bit about its history today. Thornwood Castle was built in 1907 by Chester Thorne and his wife Anna. It was constructed from a 400-year-old Elizabethan manor that Chester purchased in England and shipped to America in pieces to reconstruct on these grounds, and it includes stained glass windows that date back to the 14th and 15th century, and outer walls that have been imported from Wales. Comprised of 54 rooms, including 22 bedrooms and 22 bathrooms, it is without a doubt the most grand space I've ever visited, and I could have spent all weekend wandering these halls. <laughs> With its beautiful great room, ornately ceiling dining and ballroom, and a grand staircase, it certainly felt like a fairy tale. There was something to look at with every step, from the artwork the current owners have filled the walls with, to the cozy library with a rainbow of books and knight's helmets atop a tall bookshelf, to the bridal room where brides are invited to get ready for their big day. There is no end to the beauty of the castle. Haley and I stayed on the third floor near the movie room and game room where you can see a poster for Rose Red and hear a little bit more about the history of the, the big manor as it has been shown in movies. It's been in The Haunting of Bly Manor, There Will Be Blood, and Rose Red, and I can certainly see at nighttime why it's been in such haunting tales. The Hall of Mirrors, at the end of which we stayed, was a little bit eerie at night but certainly very beautiful during the daytime.
of course, who could resist staying in a castle and not dress up like a princess? Our room overlooked the English gardens. The garden that is there is Anna's special sunken garden called her secret garden. I can only imagine that when the roses bloomed, this place was probably so beautiful. Even early in the year when not very much was blooming, it was gorgeous to wander and Haley and I spent a lot of times in the gardens twirling and pretending to be grand ladies and generally just enjoying all of the photo spots that are in the gardens. Speaking of using our imagination, today is World Book Day, and if you want to follow along with my writing adventures, which will now absolutely be inspired by this castle stay, you can follow me over at Christina Suko Writes, where I'm sharing a sneak peek of my current novel in the works, which is A Widow's Proposal. It features a plus-size Edwardian heroine who has a secret life and is trying to save herself from utter destitution after her husband has died and left her with nothing. I hope that you all enjoyed this little walk through Thornwood Castle and its gardens with me. I'll be back soon with the second half of our adventure, which was combing through a vintage warehouse full of thousands of pieces of vintage clothing, and the owner of which has sold to shows like Mrs. Maisel and sells to Hollywood pretty regularly. As always, if you'd like to support my channel, you can visit my Ko-Fi. But otherwise, I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye!